in a few minutes, I want to try and give you a, an indication of what is multiple sclerosis. And once you know what multiple sclerosis is, you can think about how we kind of treat things, which you'll, you'll hear about. Um, I believe I, in kind of showing you it as it, as it, as it is. So, you know, MS is, is a bad disease. And so, uh, you know, um, I'll show you some brains. So, but I'll give you a warning in case you feel a bit queasy. I know it's some people have just had their breakfast and uh, not so good. So, what is multiple sclerosis? Well, the question is, is what are we in health? So, our white blood cells are there to protect us from infection, and our nervous system is there to help us move and feel things. And what happens in multiple sclerosis is the white blood cells start to damage the nerves as if, as if it was an infection, and that causes damage to the nervous system, which causes the signs and symptoms of MS. So that's kind of MS in a nutshell. So MS is a disease of the nervous system, and the nervous system's kind of classified into two bits, the central nervous system, which is, are the brain, the spinal cord, and your eyes, and that's the bit that is typically affected by multiple sclerosis, and then there's the peripheral nervous system that goes from your spine down to your fingers and your toes, and that tends not to be affected so much. And what's happening is the nervous system is being attacked by the immune system, and it affects how nerves transmit. So here is a nerve, and what essentially is we're a bag of nerves and electrical impulses have to go from your brain down to your feet and back again, and it sends an electrical signal. And the nerve isn't just one long nerve, it, it, it's maybe a few nerves, and they have to, you know, the message has to jump from one nerve to the other. And this in moves incredibly quickly. And it moves very, very quickly because of this stuff called myelin, which is the blue bits that surround the nervous system, which allows the nerve impulse to jump between the fatty myelin sheath. And so the nerve impulse moves like a bullet train really, really fast. And what happens in multiple sclerosis, the cell that produces this myelin gets attacked and damaged, and that's called demyelination. And you can see um, on the right here that the myelin gets damaged, and as a consequence of that, the nerve impulse doesn't travel as quickly as it should do, and it gets uncoordinated. And so when you have nerve impulses that aren't coordinated, it affects how the nerves and the muscles work, and that kind of discoordination allows the symptoms to occur. So that's essentially what multiple sclerosis is. And if that's a difficult concept, you can just think about it as electrical wire, and what happens in MS is you get damage to the insulation and what is multiple sclerosis? Well, it's the MS monster that essentially damages those wires. And so what we need to do is get rid of that monster. Now, the nervous system basically sees the bodies in different ways, and certain bits are more important, so our hands are important, so it sees uh, our hands as being a, a big bit of the nervous system. And different bits of the nervous system control different uh, movements and, and actions. And if there is a kind of MS lesion, so an attack in a bit of the brain, it will affect different signs and symptoms. So, for example, if we had a lesion here in an area that controls the tongue, for example, it might affect talking. And that's why MS can do different, different things. And so there are many different signs and symptoms such as movement symptoms, sensory symptoms. You may get pens and needles because you're getting too much excitation. Or not enough, you're not feeling properly. Or um, if the uh, lesion is in the bit at the bottom down here, which is the cauliflower looking bit of the brain called the cerebellum, it can affect balance, for example. And so MS can do many different things because of where the lesions are within the nervous pathway. So what do I mean by an MS lesion? And this is really what I want to show you about what goes on inside the brain. So here on the um, left-hand side, we have an MRI. And this is an MRI of a healthy brain. And if we were to take a, 
kind of microscope to look into that brain and make a slice, you'd see the nervous um, body, which is the red bit, and the myelin, which surrounds the, that nerve, which is the green bit. So that's the myelin. So if we were to look at the very beginning of MS, we could see something like that. And the people at the back can't see it, but there's a little blue dot. And that's a cell that produces the myelin, and it kind of is showing distress, probably due to whatever is the cause of MS. And that starts to make cells within the nervous system go in to try and uh, find out what's going on. And in many cases, those resolve, but in some cases, they don't. This is an early lesion, and we can see those lesions if we stain them with a, a stain, and you can see them in brown here. And this lesion may then develop and call in white blood cells from the blood entering the brain. And if we were to give people with MS what we call a contrast agent or gadolinium, you may see these things on the left, which is those white spots. And they are the white spots, which are the MS lesions. And if we were to look at those, there are white blood cells that surround the blood vessel. And this can be seen here. You can see the uh, blood vessel right in the very middle. Those blue dots are the white blood cells that are coming in to cause um, some of the problems. And then we stain the myelin in brown, and you can see there's this area of myelin loss where the damage is beginning to occur. So those white blood cells kind of expand out, and they leave a kind of area in the middle where um, the, um, there is, the myelin has been removed. And you get these ring-like uh, lesions, which can be seen on, on the left-hand side. And here you can see on the top right, there's this white hole, whereas you have the, the myelin uh, that has been removed. There's a rim of cells which are engulfing the myelin. And then different things can happen. So after a couple of weeks, then the, the lesion stops. And left within that lesion is demyelination. So that's loss of myelin. So on the left-hand side, we can see a nerve with black, which is the myelin. And on the right, we can see that that black has been removed because the myelin has been removed, which means the nerve won't transmit its nerve signals as efficiently as it should. Then what can happen is a cell goes in and starts to cause a scar. And they're called astrocytes. And this is where MS gets its name from. It's multiple scarring, multiple sclerosis. And you can see that with the MRI machine, that's that black hole there. And I'm going to show you what that lesion looks like. So here's a picture of a human brain. So if you don't like looking at brains, close your eyes now. And you can see where those arrows are. These are the MS plaques. These are areas of demyelination where the astrocytes have gone in and caused that scarring uh, issue. And on the uh, right, we have a brain uh, section. And you can see it stained blue. And that picks up the myelin. And we can see the scarring lesion is those round ones with a nice smooth edge. This other lesion, this is a younger lesion because we can see that the myelin loss is going around the blood vessel. So as the blood vessel is there, you can see this kind of fingery shape. And for those at the front, you may be able to see this area down here. There are gray matter lesions. This is where the nerve bodies of the, um, the nerve is located. And that um, is associated with some cognitive problems. And if you were to do staining, you could see this loss of brown, which is the loss of the myelin. And then we also see these light blue areas, which is repair. Because what happens is when you get the damage, you do get repair. But eventually, the repair mechanisms fail. And that leads to um, problems. So the problem can be, obviously, is that we get the repair. And that is seen as the kind of myelin stem cells, which are there. Uh, around the lesions and they go in and they, they repair, but 
there is something that stops that occurring. So the thought of just getting stem cells will automatically make everything better, you know, they are there already, but they're not working effectively. So it's not simply just plonking stem cells into the mix. And we can see these repair um, because if you look at the black, the black is thin, and that, and that tells us as it's kind of new repair. And the problem is, is if you don't get the repair, the nerve is quite vulnerable to damage. It has to work so much harder to keep the nerves working, and in some cases, the nerves will die. And if a central nervous system nerve dies, it doesn't repair. So what we have to do is ensure that that doesn't happen. And you can see this happening in real time. So again, um, you might not like the look of this, but if you look at the two black holes, which are the ventricles, this is somebody's brain being scanned over time. You can see they're getting bigger because this person is losing nerves. So that's MS in a nutshell. So there's an attack by the immune system into the nervous system. The therapies you will find essentially trying to stop those white blood cells going into the brain. Unfortunately, if the disease is established, which occurs quite early, there are immune cells left within the brain, and most of the current drugs don't target that bit, and that probably drives the progressive uh, MS. So that's it. So MS is a disease where it comes, the lesions come and go. Um, it's driven by the immune cells attacking the cells that produce the myelin, the oligodendrocyte, that affects nervous uh, signals, which leads to signs and symptoms. And um, the important point to mention is that there are treatments for those signs and symptoms, and there are treatments which will affect those attacks.